This notebook shows how OS commands can be run from a notebook. I'll use this feature to do some exploration of the Creosom that I'm running on. I will also check and show some of the details for the Python installation on the board. We saw in the previous example that we can write and run Python code in code cells in a Jupyter notebook. If I add a bang character to the start of a line, and that is the exclamation mark, this instructs the IPython REPL to pass the code on that line to the OS as a shell command. I can run some Linux commands to investigate the system I'm running on. lscpu is a Linux command to report CPU information. The Creosom is based on the Zinc UltraScale Plus device. You can see the ARM Cortex A53, number of cores, and other architecture information about the processor on this device. I can check available RAM and how much is free. I can check my network connection. I have a wired connection and this is the IP address the board has been given on my local network. I can check the host name of the board, which by default is pink. I use the host name to browse to my board. If I have multiple pink boards on a network, I need to give them all unique host names. Instead of the host name, I can browse to my board by its IP address as I'm doing now. I can load the same notebook. I can check information on the Linux installation I'm running on. I'm currently running on a custom pink image based on Ubuntu 18.04. I'll switch back to some Python code and report information about the Python installation in this image. You can see I'm running Python 3.6, which pink requires. The last thing I would like to show is the pip installation list. This is the list of Python packages or Python libraries that are available on the board. I can see various packages that are included by default or have been added to this image as part of the pink installation. The point here is that if you're not very familiar with Python, there is a huge ecosystem of Python libraries that you can install to the SOM and take advantage of for your own applications. This concludes the example which mainly showed how to call OS commands from a notebook and pass them to the OS shell. We also explored some information about the Python installation.